you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Want it dead or barely alive? Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions working or not? Don't trash it, recycle it. eCycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And we have teamed up with Mary's Place for Kicks for Kids because we got to get those shoes on those kids. It's going to get colder. The wetter months are coming, and those kids need new quality shoes. I mean, and they get to pick out their own sneakers, which is awesome. That's one of the coolest parts. It's not like, here, wear these. <laughs> which is still great. Wear I mean, these. New shoes, but it's nice that the kid can be like, oh, I get to pick. Because I remember when I was a kid, man. Remember when like, your mom's like, okay, I could buy you some new kicks. And I'm like, oh. Let's yeah. see, what can I get? Yeah, it's, that's like part of the fun of it all. And all the money we raise from you goes directly to Mary's Place, which is a local charity here, and they will get those kids those new shoes. That's a real, th- a really cool thing. And tomorrow, tomorrow's a very special day. It's going to be Kicks for Kids Day all day long on The Rock, as we're hoping to get like a ton of donations to really get these shoes on these kids. Yeah, because we're wrapping up the fundraiser, and we figure what better way than to give like a huge chunk from The Rockaholics to help out one last pitch. Like people like Alicia, who uh, donated a hundred bucks to Kicks for Kids. Cindy, uh, she donated sixty nine dollars to be part Ooh. of a certain club, an yeah. exclusive club, where all you have to do to join is donate sixty nine dollars. The sixty nine crew, very nice. So if you'd like to donate, no matter what you want to donate, could be a dollar, could be sixty nine dollars, could be a lot more. Could be like Sean B and five hundred dollars. Whoa, oh. Sean B, stepping up, damn. Look, if, even if you don't have any money, please share this on your social networks. Maybe some of your friends could help out. All the info and how you can donate, just go to KISW.com. Let's play Beat Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So a name. Beat Mix. Don't be a loser. Whoa. Beat Mix. You're a loser. And it is time. So maybe there'll be a whackin'. Oh, yeah. Whackin'. Yeah. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Woo! Whackin'. Somebody's going to be a Mr. Wacky. We just don't know who yet. Could be Steve. Or it could be our contestant, because we've got... Yeah, it could be a tie. Oh, yeah, and then they're just whacking each other, right? Well, they like that. Who's they? Because if you're saying me, no. Well, you and Logan on uh, the I-405. Oh, Logan. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Logan, are you there? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Whack it. Sounds like you're having fun in that traffic. How's 405 doing right now? Oh, just awesome as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About the normal. I feel you. Yeah. All right, Steve. Traffic starts at like 4.30 on, on 405. It's oh, just yeah. stupid. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hot traffic take. All right, Steve, get out of here. Traffic is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> For those playing at home, Logan will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Steve's just throwing stuff everywhere. Uh, you'll have three guesses per question. Uh, are you ready, Logan? Yes, sir. The popular children's book, Good Night Moon, was first published in what decade of the 20th century? Uh, 80s. No. 70s. No. 60s? No. Who was the king in charge of the Knights of the Round Table? 
Uh, King Arthur. Yes. Which NFL team plays at the oldest stadium? Uh, Giants. No. Uh, Eagles. No. Browns. No. What car manufacturer makes the Leaf model? Uh, Nissan. Yes. What is a group of witches called? Coven. Yes. What are the tiny blood vessels that connect arteries and veins? Capillaries. Yes. Which South American country produces the most coffee in the world? Brazil. Yes. What is the common name for dried plums? Uh, prunes. Yes. What was the name of the rock band formed by Jimmy Page? Uh, uh... Led Zeppelin? Yes. Chinook, Coho, and Black Sea are all types of what fish? Salmon. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct. Ooh, this going to be a good one. Yeah, started a little rocky and got some good answers there at the end. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. It's kind of like family feud. Kind of answers. Now, <laughs> I would like to say that Steve is broken protocol. Oh. Oh, no. Why? Oh, Steve, forget what day was today was. Uh, oh, no. Don't worry. I'm fine. I've got like 30 cracking oh, shirts. Okay, yeah. He's wearing a sweet anchor shirt. Correct. Uh, Seattle Kraken. By the way, my ch- I want to let my children know that's the only kind of Kraken gear I don't own is the mm. anchor shirt. So Get it at the team hint, shop. Just hint. keep that in mind for the holidays. So, Steve, you're still going to be wearing a Kraken shirt tomorrow? Yes. Here's Part of the issue was, you know, we're in the middle of this move, so I packed all of my shirts. They're already <gasps> in a box. Oh, no. I've o- I only have like three shirts to work with right now. Two of them being cracking shirts. So don't oh! worry, tomorrow it's going to be like, fine. Are you going to have to rewash that shirt just for tomorrow? No, I'm just such a Seattle sports nerd because I've got two cracking shirts and a Seattle Seawolves shirt, the, the rugby team. That's yeah. the only shirts I have right now to work with. Nice. Nice. That is amazing. <laughs> of, all, of all the shirts he keeps, so he's like, all right, these are the three I'm getting. I'm yeah. Getting oh, and a Seahawks tank top. So uh, Blue Friday might get awkward. Just to say, oh, so I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Flex it on Blue Friday, please. Hopefully we'll get everything. Please. Hopefully everything will be unpacked oh, please, oh, please, by oh, Friday. Please. I hope not. So I, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm coming in in a tank top, boys. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's not going to be good. All right, I'll wear deodorant. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I am. The popular children's book, Good Night Moon, was first published in what decade of the two, uh, 20th century? Decade of 20th century. The 80s. No. 90s. No. 2000s. No. Oh. 60s. No. 40s. Yes. Damn it. Who was the king I in charge of the Knights of the Round Table? King Arthur. Yes. Which NFL team plays at the oldest stadium? Green Bay Packers. No. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oldest stadium. Pittsburgh Steelers? No. Crap. The oldest stadium. I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears. Yes. Good call. What car manufacturer makes yes. the Leafs model? The Nissan. Yes. Oh. What is a group of witches called? A gaggle. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a coven. Yes. Wow. What are the tiny blood vessels that connect arteries and veins? The capillaries. Yes. Which oh. South American country produces yeah. the most coffee in the world? <laughs> Colombia. No. <gasps> Peru. No. Brazil. Yes. Ugh. What is a common name for wow. dried plums? Prune. Yes. What ah. is the name of the rock band formed by Jimmy Page? Led Zeppelin. Yes. I'm and a Steve. Flamingo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, they whack each other. It's oh, a tie. I felt like I won that one. You yeah. almost did. I almost did, buddy. Spent too much time on uh, trying to figure out the Chicago Bears one. That Bears. You got it right, but you didn't get to the last question. That would have done it for you. Yes. Chinook, Coho, and Black Sea are all types of wet fish. <laughs> Yep, salmon. Yep. So you don't uh, win. You and Logan tie. So uh, congrats on uh, it, kissing your it. sister, Logan. Yeah, mutual whacking, Logan. Thank you. Good, good game, Steve. You too, uh, my friend. You appreciate Have fun you. on four hundred five. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to call in anytime. I, feel like I win. Yeah, I'm not yeah. on four hundred five. Yeah, I think uh, you're the winner out of that deal. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said my dad told me a stupid four hundred five joke. Why is it called four four hundred five? Because you only go four or five miles per hour. <laughs> Good call. I like that one. Yeah, and traffic's coming back. Yeah. You know, I mm-hmm. miss oh, look, I miss mm-hmm. the days where there was nobody on the road. The Fife Curve uh, down uh, in Fife and Tacoma is uh, rough again. 
It's yeah. pretty terrible. And I mean, last week with all the rain, like people oh, that forgot was the worst. what to do when it's like a torrential downpour and it was people just all over yeah, the place. I was going north uh, in the afternoon from here last Wednesday and it was a beating. Yeah. It was like, oh, because it was really rainy and I'm like, oh, the traffic is back. <laughs> it took me, it's a five, it's, it's basically like a 10 minute trip and it took me a half hour to it, get to where I wanted to go. It's the most yeah. bittersweet part of everything. Because like when you see people out there, it's like, okay, good. People are going back to work. People, things are starting to get a little bit better. Like I like to see that kind of optimism. Yeah. But now I'm in traffic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that was the only, that was what I enjoyed. I so enjoyed that about the fact that we were all supposed to shelter in place. And then if you had to go somewhere, you were like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. this is what people like when they, this is why people like driving when you yeah. have the open road. Yeah. yeah. There's, it's not open anymore. Not anymore. Nope. Well, so can- I want to know why I got five guesses on the first question. Well, only three of them count. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't he, get it right. He just kept throwing them out there. Like he eventually got that good night moon was printed in the or uh you know, put out in the forties, but well beyond the Do you uh, have guesses. like resolution issues and I just like yeah. to get closure on something even if I know I'm still getting it wrong. Yeah. Do you have uh you have a copy of that? Good night moon? Yeah. Oh yes, two copies. Okay. Yeah, he mentioned yeah. that he had just read it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right yeah. now, though, the big book in our household is uh, the ones where you can put your finger in the puppet. <laughs> oh. It's it's like these little books. But, but what is your daughter like? <laughs> <laughs> it's these little books. Okay. It's got like a little finger puppet of like a unicorn and one of an avocado. And like, while oh, you, an avocado? Yeah. So while you're telling the book story, you, you move your finger. So it's like a little like you can watch along. It's kind of fun for me. It's like a pop-up book. Oh, I mean, I'm sure it's fun for her too. But who cares? You know, <laughs> to me, it's she's fun. a baby. Whatever. I get to pretend I'm a little avocado. While she oh, makes the see that? Yeah, I think they're available at Target. What's oh. an avocado sound like? I don't know. I don't even. Look. Okay. Oh, hey. hey. Well, pretty good job. Yeah. Well, it's being mashed into guacamole. Clear. That's a, it's a sad <laughs> ending to the book. Whoa! Spoiler alert. Twist. Oh, I'm just kidding. Wow. Damn. I don't know what that. I, I'm cannibals. Even, I can't even tell you what these stories are about. <laughs> And they're supposed to be easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good job. This shows where my listening comprehension is. All righty. Very good. All right. We got a 24-year-old guy. His name is Mike. He lives in Belgium. On Friday, he came up with a plan to break his 27-year-old wife, Crystal, out of prison. Oh, well, that's awfully nice. That's romance right there. You know, I'm yeah. getting my wife flowers for our anniversary. He's breaking his wife out of prison. Now, I... Really don't think he thought this through, because why was she in prison? She was locked up on suspicion of murdering her ex-boyfriend, which... Ah! I gotta tell you this. Ah! Yes, you're happy she's with you, and the ex-boyfriend's out of the picture, but you know what she does when she doesn't like the dude she's with anymore. Well, also, if she said, hey, I need you to get me out of prison, and you know her backstory, wouldn't you want to help her? Well, if she's in prison, she can't murder you. That's true. You know what I mean? Let's see a picture of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. In their picture, they're holding up, like, gun fingers. Oh, oh, wow. Whoa. You know, and you would look at that picture, I mean, you know, minus the gun fingers, and you go, they look just like a regular, ordinary couple. And she could be a murderer. Yeah. It's just nuts. Yeah, you see the, the, the picture. It's like a picture from their wedding. Like, you, you definitely don't look at them as being like, the, you wouldn't just assume that they're just going to be involved in a prison break, murder, helicopter controversy. Yeah. Exactly what it was. He booked a helicopter tour, threatened the pilot with a fake gun, made him fly to the prison. Wait, was the fake gun his hand? Yeah. To be a gun? Well, or did he have it in the pocket? You work with what you got. Right. And uh, what his plan was, was to land in the prison yard, have Crystal hop aboard, and then fly away to freedom. Unfortunately, not like that, because this isn't the movies. Uh, I feel like even in the movies, they wouldn't do that, because it's just not believable. So how about this, though? The reason it didn't go down like that at the beginning had really nothing to do with anything but Mike. Mike was not ready for the motion sickness that you can get during a helicopter ride. Oh, dude. He started throwing up all over the helicopter door, and then uh, the pilot couldn't land in the prison yard. There wasn't any room. So he really mapped this out properly. And because he booked the helicopter tour under his real name, they arrested him within 24 hours. Can they recreate this on Netflix? Like, you know, yeah, they, they have all these documentaries. I want a documentary on how all this oh. unfolded. Well, you know who were they? The, the, the ID channel is good like this, buddy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the ID channel will probably run this episode. And my mother-in-law and I can watch it together. Now, I've been in a helicopter before. Granted, it wasn't to break anyone out of prison. And I didn't have to, like, hold the helicopter pilot up with a gun. Oh, okay. But when we were in Hawaii, we went and did the, the Jurassic Falls oh, it's helicopter a, it's tour. An awesome tour. But, like, when I first, my wife and I sat in the helicopter, like, you, this is the unknown for us. We have no idea how this is going to feel going up. And it was a rather pleasant 
like take off. Like I didn't feel sick or nauseous or anything like that. So yeah. Do you think the helicopter guy made it a little extra bumpy to get he, him sick? I think you may be right because I had the same experience you had. It wasn't that bad at all. But, I, I, you know, if they do it like you see in the movies, you know, like it's a super Huey situation where they're fighting guys, maybe so. Has anyone uh, else on the show done a helicopter? I mean, hell no. Well, wait a second. That's our Nerva Dictionary thing, probably. <laughs> right, right. We're not Same talking about yeah. that Swedish guy that you met once, Vicky. Right. Named helicopter. <laughs> wow, that Swedish accent was just spot on. Hi, my name is Helicopter. Uh, helicopter. I'm Helicopter. Wow. Okay. I don't even know what if that's a Swedish name. It's not a Swedish name. It's the first thing I thought of, guys. Yeah, you did a great job. I, have to say, you know I what? stayed up late watching this. This is debates. a dumpster fire inside of a trash heap inside of a train wreck and a plane crash all together. Is what this is. No, it's an S show. Yeah, it is an S show. A woman just proved that she is the ultimate fan of McDonald's. And how did she prove her fandom? Oh, you're going to hear from her. It's 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW. The Rock of Seattle. Someone in North Dakota posted a photo after they saw a car in a McDonald's drive-thru with a vanity license plate that said H-M-B-R-G-L-R, which of course is short for Hamburglar. Oh, I thought it was like Humbugger. Humbugger! <laughs> What was that? Who used to say that? I would a humbugger. I have no idea. Well, there oh. was like bah humbug. Yeah, I hmm. forget. Maybe I'm just. I know humdinger that up. is uh, cranium. It's a fun part of that show. Okay, cranium. maybe that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> so how about this though? Um, uh, she's a she's a big fan. She's got a hamburger on the uh, license plate. A reporter decided to track down the owner. Her name is Jody Butts. Love that. <laughs> How do you not have that be your license plate? I know, really. Butts girl. Yeah. And it's butts with a Z. Yeah. B-U-T-Z. B-U-T-Z. Uh, she is a McDonald's super fan, Steve. That's why she doesn't have butts as a license plate. She needed something McDonald's style. And so, of course, she made with butts. Him. Mick Butts. <laughs> okay. All right. We have a happy, we, we, we have a compromise. Here's Jody talking about how much she loves McDonald's. I come here for lunch Saturday and Sunday. I have collector's items all over the place, cookie jars, little tights, McDonald's, everything. So I'm looking at the picture, and I think it was on Tosh.0. Oh, they posted it with a caption that just said, S is about to go down because the person in the drive-thru taking a picture of Miss Butt's uh, car in front of them and that has the Hamburglar uh, uh, yes. license plate ordering at McDonald's. And, yeah, I would think, oh, boy, this is going to be a big order. It We're sure going to be stuck behind this woman for a while. <laughs> for a long time. They actually, we have to ask the hamburger how he feels about it. Rebel, rebel. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Sorry, happy I about just, it. I've had this drop. <laughs> I've never had a use for it. And now you finally do. I finally can use it. Rebel, rebel. <laughs> rebel, rebel. Rebel, rebel. <laughs> He's robbing. Yeah, rabble, yeah. Rabble, rabble. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Rabble, rabble. Yeah, what's the hamburger? <laughs> uh, and, and luckily, she's paying for her food because if you're if the hamburger is the one you want to put in your license oh. plate, why oh. why aren't you robbing the joint? That's what, a good point. What a great story that would have been if she got the order and then just drove off without paying because <laughs> she's got the hamburger. That's her favorite character. Rabble, rabble. Even if you're McDonald's, you're like, oh, well, uh, she kind of told yeah, us. I mean, we yeah, she told us what's up, and we still haven't been able to really corral the hamburger. He's still stealing stuff from the McDonald's community. The problem is they ask for your card before they give you the food oh damn it from what you hear rebel rebel <laughs> the funny thing is too is you call the cops with that one uh we just had a lady drive off with her food can you what was your license plate hamburger no we're serious hamburger that's what it right. was <laughs> yeah that's probably pass you over to mayor mccheese he yeah. can hopefully help you with this problem <laughs> he surely is oh that's fantastic <laughs> It's the lukewarm topic of the day. All right, so we got this woman. She is a super fan of McDonald's. That's a fact. She's got a license plate that says Hamburglar. So based on this, we want to know, how about you? What are you a super fan of? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. We got your calls. We got your texts. We'll take them after Alice on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. If your tank water heater is over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit tanklessmadesimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Count on Navian. 
Wait! Don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. A woman is uh, such a super fan of McDonald's that she has a license plate that says Hamburglar. Based on this, we want to know, what are you a super fan of? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Uh, one of the text messages coming in, I'm a super fan of the Minions. Oh, from Despicable Me. Oh, I have yeah. about 70 or 80 toys and stuffed animals and, of course, all the movies. Dude, the Minions rock. Yes. Yeah? You like the Minions? Yeah. How could you not like the Minions? They're adorable and they love bananas and they like the fart. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That's oh, the, I didn't know the, they liked to the fart. The, the fart part I wasn't sure of. Oh, and the, the Minions ride. Where is that? Is that? That's not Disney. Is it Universal? No. Universal. Universal. Yeah, Universal. Oh, it's awesome. It's so much fun. I don't know if I've done the Minions ride. And then when the ride ends, you walk out and they have like a, a Minion dancing with you. It's kind of cool. Oh, do they really? Yeah. I oh, wanted right. to get a picture, but all these stupid kids were in line wanting to dance with the Minions. Stupid kids. And I was just like, kids. yeah. I, I figured the parents wouldn't like me cutting the line so I could get a picture with the Minion. Well, you know what? You did it what, at, the, what, at the Pearl Jam concert that one time? Unintentionally. Yeah, so why not? You've, you've, already, got a, you've already got a reputation. <laughs> See, I would say Pearl Jam is definitely one thing that I'm a super fan of. But right now, the big issue is... The Seattle Kraken. Yes. Release the Kraken. Oh, yeah, you are. The team has not even played a game yet. They won't even play a game next season. It's not until the 2021-2022 season. I already have way too many things in my possession that are Kraken-related. You know, there was a time where if you had three of anything, people go, okay, you're overboard. And I and I have three Kraken shirts, and I am nowhere near you. No, dude, three of everything. I had three Kraken things on this morning. Yeah. I had a Kraken hat, Kraken face mask, and a Kraken shirt. I'm just and you know, the Kraken stick around my car. Yeah, I uh, I remember <laughs> being made fun of as a kid growing up. If I had the three of anything that was the same thing, people said you got a problem. Because oh, I, I get so happy when I see someone wearing oh. a Kraken shirt oh, anywhere yeah. I am. I'm just like, yeah, go Kraken, go crack, go, go crack, go. <laughs> yeah, police yeah. officer pull me over. It's like, yeah. what are you talking? About? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you trying to do here? Two zero six four two one Rock Texas is seven seven nine nine nine. So, what is something that you are a super fan of? Well, speaking of Kraken, uh, I actually uh, it's kind of uh, the sort of the same thing in terms of uh, steampunk. Now, follow me here on this one. Okay. So, I love steampunk so much that one of my rooms, I literally have a bar in my house that is my steampunk bar oh, yeah? that we have that I have named the Brass Kraken. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it, it will be an unofficial uh, Kraken uh, viewing party location once we can have Perfect. parties and all that stuff as well. Oh, but, really? Oh, hell yeah. Well, wait, I mean, wait. for like... The people on the list already. Oh, and it. Sorry, yeah. BJ, you're not so on the I list. Thought, yeah. Well, yeah. you've got a full season to do whatever you need to do so you could get on the list. Yeah, yeah. you got to grease the wheels there, buddy. Well, yeah, that's a, that, that is a, that's a sad thing for me because I know I'm never getting on that list. So have a good time at the Kraken place, wherever he's calling it's it. The brass Release Kraken. the Kraken. Oh, it's the Brass Kraken thing. Thank you. Yeah. So well, it says I, I've been a super fan of Michael Jordan since grade school. I have jerseys, collectible plates, magazines, over 500 sports cards, Funko Pops, DVDs, and of course... Air Jordan shoes. I've been a fan of a lot of things, and I go in and out where sometimes, you know, my fandom isn't as big as it used to be, then sometimes it comes back. But to be a fan of like a, like that for uh, and just have it keep going, going, going for X amount of decades is something I, I'm pretty amazed over. See, I'm kind of like that. I, I, I'm a super fan of a couple of different things, and it rotates what I'm more obsessed with at, the certain, at a certain yeah. time. So it's wrestling, music, or hockey. Those are like the three things that I kind of just keep... You know, depending on what my mood is, like right now I've been pretty obsessed with hockey with the crack in the Stanley Cup Finals and also just jonesing to get back on the ice. But, uh, you know, then it'll, it'll flip to wrestling next thing, you know, or music. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- so those are your big three. That, yeah, that's my only three. <laughs> <laughs> really? I couldn't tell. Well, my child, wife, and that stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I hope I'm, you... I hope you... See, we don't I'm call... I'm a super it, fan of my child. Yeah, I don't think people use super fan. I think they use the L word. I think love is what they use rather than, oh. honey, I'm in super fandom with you. Let's get married. How about you, Victoria? For me, it's definitely Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. That's oh, the one where you have the, right. the, the thing at the plane, right? Yep, I have uh, multiple stuffed animals, including a pillow pet, which is Stitch, That's but the in the thing form from of the a plane. pillow. Yeah, yeah. she knew. Yeah, I, I was tracking, Steve. Can I just say one thing, though, Vicky? I'm going to give you credit. 
we don't get to see a whole lot of Lilo and Stitch like show up in the office so much. Like she keeps mm-hmm. that fandom to herself. Where Steve, you wear everything on your sleeve. Every, yes. I mean, you you wear it all on your sleeve. So Vicky, I'll just wait till we get those Kraken tattoos. Do you have any T-shirts oh, yeah. or any wearables like that you could wear, Vicky? Because I don't see you come in a lot with stuff. I did, and I still have some, but I usually just wear them around the house because everyone ends up getting me a bunch of it because they know I love it so much. But it's not stuff that I necessarily want to wear out. Like, I don't know if you have, like, that one yeah, thing Steve, that you really love, and then people just get you too many of it. And it's Steve, like, it's she's, not uh, what She kind of keeps it, you know, to herself. That's all I'm saying. Well, I don't have that problem. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, no, you don't. I'm proud know. of what I love. Yeah. I already get carded enough as it is. I don't need to be wearing it and get carded even more. He's on your car, though, right? Yes, he is yes. on my car. Yeah. yeah. In what capacity? A sticker. Oh. It's, you know the same capacity <laughs> you have. Capacity. The, the, you have the Kraken on your well, car. I don't know if you had like a stuffed thing hanging from the window, mm-hmm. or like you know, like how some people have it, like like something hanging from their trunk. Like their what hand. capacity do you show your fandom? I need to know. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't ask the question properly. <laughs> well, you definitely asked it. Like you know, you you were got. Hey, I got two minutes to say however I want to say it. You got to yeah. 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 shut up. No interrupting. You're, yeah. you are the worst radio host ever. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> give me my two minutes. What already. about your kid though? Your kid doesn't even have the right binky. What Dan, about that? Danny, am I going to get my 30 seconds yeah. back? That's no. what I want to know. <laughs> yeah. What the F? You know, I know I'm the worst moderator. Oh, are you going to say now you're a, a good father? Don't say you're a good father. You don't even remember where you went to father school. I'm a good father. <laughs> it's been disputed, buddy. Yeah. It's been disputed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want you to know, in 47, uh, 47 minutes, God, I've done more. This clown. He's I've a done clown. more in 47 damn minutes than you've done in 47 days. So don't even go there. You better not bring up my dead pets. <laughs> Don't Good. push me. <laughs> Don't push me. Hey, I see when's your that, son's in the by room. the way, when's that going to happen? <laughs> Speaking I mean, of sons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's the Joey D's nuts. There's the success oh, of my man. life. What just happened? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm a super fan of Vegas. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Duh. That's a shock. Yeah. And I think we should How have our next money. How much money have you spent in Vegas, you think? Jeez. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe, I'd say $10,000 at this point. That's it? Woo! That's it. I, I, no, no, look, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money, but I'm thinking like in the however, what five, six years that you've been obsessed with Vegas. Okay, well, let's put it this way: I've spent probably between ten and twenty, maybe even thirty thousand dollars travel and all but that with all travel and food and expenses. But I've made probably close to twenty or thirty thousand dollars while down oh, there. So you're breaking even, if not better. Oh yeah. Well, I hope better. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie; I kind of stopped keeping track after a while because. I got more into the whole party and relax more than go to work because it used to be kind of a work thing for me. I'd go down multiple times to play poker. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, you know what? Life's too short. I'm going to relax and enjoy a drink by the pool and by the poker table and the blackjack table and the club. Okay, you know what? Let's forget about that. You know, but and for me now, like with it being shut down, I just realized how much of a super fan I am with it, though, because I'm like, I can't go back. And we're not going to be able to go back. Well, you for can so long. go back. You can go there, but it's like a ghost town right now. Dude, I've heard people that have gone to Vegas recently, and they're like, "Yeah, it's fun because you know I got to leave my house, but it sucks because there's nobody like the energy of Vegas is gone. No shows, no fun stuff to do. Yeah, there's like ten percent of the people there. Plus, the whole fun is to take a gigantic drink and walk down the strip in like that blazing sun Truth. and party with everyone and challenge people to do backflips and watch prostitutes <laughs> hit on your, your father. Oh, that's my favorite. That's like number three on my list of great things to do in vegas yeah that's why i don't want to hit on it solicit for his money yeah Yeah. Yeah. or try to get him into the limo you know they go hey bj you want to go on the limo ride profiling is alive and well when i go to vegas profiled as the desperate man that might have some cash that's the profile yeah i you know it's a that that, i you're that's what i would have picked you you being a super fan of vegas but you know then again there's a lot of reasons to be a super fan of vegas oh how about this person's a super fan of the original battlestar galactica Oh, I, have, I know who this is. They have over $4,000 devoted to show in my collection. Thanks, oh. eBay. Okay, wow. so, Texter, if your name's not Paul, I know someone who might give you a run for your money. We my, found your match. Because my buddy Paul R., I'm, let me tell you right now, Paul R. is a... Everything he posts on Facebook is Battlestar original show related. It's pretty wild. That's the one with the lady with the, the low-zipped top, right? Uh, she on ba- no, it's Buck Rogers. Yeah, you're thinking Buck Rogers. <laughs> beady, beady, beady. Yeah, <laughs> booby, booby, booby. That's one with Starbuck. <laughs> uh, Starbuck, you know the uh, guy, yeah, the guy from the A team. Not as awesome. Dirk Benedict, right? Not as awesome. Buck oh. Rogers greater than Battlestar. Galactica. The original Battlestar Galactica. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll agree with that. Are you out of your minds? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, well. Well, I'm not like a huge sci-fi guy, so don't take anything I say as gospel. And I watched it when I was like three. Of course I love the little robot. Uh, I you know what? I, I, look, I, I think they were equally okay for their own reasons, though, but, but, though you know, uh, I, I can't really throw one under the bus to the other because there's a lot to I think laugh at with both of those Buck shows. Buck Rogers but. had more memorable characters. Oh, well, now you're out of your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate to say it. You're out All of right. your mind. All right. Name yeah. one person from the, the TV show Buck Rogers, Danny. Mm, no. Huh. How about Rogers. how, how about Buck Rogers? Rogers. Oh, literally, all you have to say is Buck Rogers. Dude. Sorry, no, let me try this with Vicky. Okay. Vicky, name one character from Battlestar Galactica. Oh, Starbuck. Damn it, it's not working. <laughs> Here's, the I also saw Here's the problem you have. She's a big fan of the second okay. Battlestar yes. Galactica, so Dandy. she knows all the characters. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Well, you can't win with Vicky. Joe, fix cheating. this when we edit it. For <laughs> we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, name one character from Battlestar Galactica. Mm. All right, name one character from Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers, Steve. My point. Boom. Oh, your point's made. Yeah, Checkmate. Do I get my two minutes to respond? Because no. I don't really want it, to be honest with you. <laughs> it took more than two minutes to get yeah. to that. Yeah, it surely did. Uh, all righty. Uh, there is a great chat online about things that are legal but feel illegal when you're doing it. I'll tell you all about it. It's 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another listener question. How do I rebuild my credit after filing bankruptcy? Uh, you rebuild it, you know, one creditor at a time by making your payments on time to, on your on your rent or your mortgage, by continuing to make car payments at, on a car that you keep during your case. Um, you can also, as I said, uh, you can almost always get a credit card almost immediately after filing bankruptcy. Sometimes it's a secured card and it'll almost always have a really high interest rate on it, but you can get a small balance credit card and, you know, charge a tank of gas or, or a dinner once a month on that and make the payment, pay it off every month. Month, and that'll help you build a credit history one creditor at a time and will help you rebuild your credit over time. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders, no more leaks, just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on 